I'm from the trailer park. Y'all knew. Y'all knew. You could smell it. I know what I smell like. Used skull cans and unwanted pregnancies. I know what I smell like. We called my mama the white trash tornado growing up. Because as her love life spiraled out of control, we hit trailer park after trailer park after trailer park. Just like a tornado. She was always like, why can't I meet a good man? John, why can't I bring home a winner? It's like, Mama, you are having sex with men whose houses have wheels. <laughs> Their homes can be repossessed. Like, would it kill you to fuck for foreclosure? <laughs> We're bringing home lot numbers, Mama. Let's try a physical address and see what happens. Shake it up. Everybody in here drinking? Cool. Everybody drank a lot in the trailer park, too. You could tell, because everybody was married to ugly people. That's like a clear sign. There's an alcoholic afoot. One drunk and one ugly, that's the South. I had one dude, he brought a girl over to my trailer and to put her into perspective, she looked like the Crypt Keeper. But like if the Crypt Keeper had a better dental plan. Like he, he brought her in my trailer and she was butt naked. He said, look, the Keeler made her clothes fall off. I said, look bro, meth made her teeth fall out. Way before that tequila took effect. Like bro, her teeth fell out like 60 meths ago. Her teeth fell out right around the same time her third kid got taken by CPS. Oh, that's too dark? Okay. Her teeth might have fallen out as an evolutionary adaptation just to make it easier for her to suck dick for drugs. I noticed some weird stuff on my last trip to the South. I noticed that rednecks are starting to vote Democrat. I know, I was shocked too. I know, because I saw a Confederate flag, but it was on a Prius. And then I saw a coexister on a Dodge Ram, and I had questions. Then I was doing a show in Statesboro, Georgia, and I said, I'm, said, I'm from the trailer park. And a lady stood up, she goes, don't you mean mobile home? I was like, did you just social, are you a Southern justice warrior right now? Like, I don't think you're allowed to correct me if your house's worst enemy is a hill. <laughs> it's not gonna be long though for rednecks to figure out they can get offended too. They're gonna figure that shit out. Can you imagine when they do though? They're gonna walk up to a lesbian couple like ma'ams? Shit, I assumed your gender. You people? Damn, it can't say that either, Claude. Y'all. Gender neutral word. <laughs> Y'all are appropriating my culture. I'm gonna need you to remove the spouse abuser that you're wearing, formerly known as a wife beater, which was named after the heinous assumptions of my culture. I love my wife. And what if she was like, Fuck you, redneck. We're not listening to you. He's like, oh, you called me a what? A redneck? That is offensive to my people. We are to be known as necks of color. And if you're going to say it, don't use the hard R. My kids are in the car. <laughs> 